why are you here in the Philippines? And what do you like the most about the Philippines? Uh, Would you retire in the Philippines? It's a completely different culture to what we're used to. What don't you like about the Philippines? Hi, what's your name? Chris, from Australia. Uh, Australia, what's your name? Yeah, Rolly from Australia. So what, what are you guys doing here in the Philippines? Uh, we're meeting people and exploring the whole, the whole island here. It's a yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. How long have you been here? I've only been here one week. Yeah. I've been to Boracay for 10 days and here in Cebu for 5 days. Okay, and what do you like the most about these two places? The people. The people? The people are awesome. Okay, and what do you like? Oh, I, love the, I love the cuisine, the local cuisine. Okay. Like, mm, I like the cuisine, it's good. Amazing. Any dislikes, something you don't like? Really? Ooh. Nothing we can't handle. Too oh. humid, too sweaty, <laughs> man. It makes me drink more. <laughs> it makes a drink. How's our Filipino beer? Have you had any? Yeah, the Red Horse. Many, many. Red Horse is good. <laughs> Several. Yeah, yeah, Red Horse is delicious, right? Okay. I got it. Now, have you had a chance to meet anybody? Like, have you dated anybody here? Any Filipinas? Anything like that? Yeah, we're talking to some Filipino girls out there before. It's mm -hmm. very polite, very respectful, yeah. and very, very beautiful, too. Which is just what, you know, it's, it's good. Okay. It's good. Do you see yourself retiring here, maybe, if you had the chance? Would you retire in the Philippines? Fuck yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. 100%, right? Two, yeah. two years from now, I'll be here for, permanently. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll beat you. I'll beat awesome. you. I reckon I'll beat you. I'll beat you. <laughs> and what were your initial impressions of the Philippines when you first got here? What were your first impressions? My first impressions was it's the beauty of the place. And yeah. how, how, it's like, how everything's so cheap. It's affordability mm -hmm. and the, the food and the friendliness of the people is so good. Excellent. Amazing. Perfect. What were your initial first impressions? Shit, I don't know. Can I say <laughs> this shit on YouTube or not really? Uh, yeah, it, it is a beautiful want, place. Man, no, a beautiful a... place, beautiful yeah. women, beautiful everything. And yeah, it's cheap. It's, yeah, you it's can't cheap. Ask for, for me, else, for, right? from Australia, it's cheap. And yeah. Cheap and beautiful is like that's 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 good. That's cheap all and you beautiful. need, right? Cheap and beautiful. Cheap and beautiful. Usually it's the other way around. <laughs> cheap and expensive. All right, but guys. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. No worries. Thank you. Hi, right, what's your name? Hello. Uh, where are you from? The USA originally. And what brings you down here to the Philippines? I've been to the Philippines before on previous times uh, over the years, and I decided to retire here last year. And what's been your biggest surprise about the Philippines? Really, there's been no really surprises, uh, but uh, understanding uh, about the changes that have gone on, political, yeah. not so much the political, but the, uh, the economic and social changes, as we've seen around the world anyway. Okay. And what do you like the most about the Philippines? Uh, the uh, variety of uh, islands to visit. Yeah. And uh, the, uh, the close proximity of the urban to the uh, rural. Uh, mm -hmm communities. You can live in the rural and at the same time uh, take advantage of the uh, urban um, uh, amenities. Yeah. Any dislikes so far? Um, I have to you know, control my patience with bureaucracy. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? I'm Hans Hi. Eric. And, and this you? is Jessica. And where are you guys from? From Sweden. And why are you here in the Philippines? What are you doing? Our kids are living here. We have a mm -hmm. factory down here. Balsa Crafts Company, we do furniture. Okay. They have been here for 10 years. Wow. We're here to visit them and our grandchildren. Excellent. Three grandchildren. <laughs> Three grandchildren. Well, you guys don't look like grandparents to me, so... And we have uh, four. Wow. four on the way. The fourth on the, on the way. way. Okay, got it. Now, what do you like the most about the Philippines? The weather. Mm -hmm. No doubt, beaches, yeah. water, swimming, suntan, yeah. beer, white <laughs> wine, <Yeah>. everything. <laughs> huh? But you know, it's so nice when it's uh, as if it's too cold in Sweden. It's nice. To I know. Tell me about it. It's cold in Canada, but it's too hot here, so <laughs> I can't get away from any other weather. Now, tell me, what don't you like about the Philippines? Something that could be better. What What don't you like? Here in Cebu. Yeah. We don't like it so many poor people. Yeah, of course. We see it every day and we drive through, so it's so much of that. I, so we, I think that is, uh, we must help them. Yeah. That's a little bit sad, yeah. That is sad. And because traffic. they have so much, you know, there's, there's so you can see this um, different sizes. Yeah. Here, you know, the really poor and the real really rich. There's yeah. so many rich people living here also. And we are fortunate to be in that side. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, there's a big gap between the rich and the poor, Extremely right? Extremely big. Yeah. Extremely yeah. big. We can't imagine. What is the biggest difference from Sweden 
and the Philippines, except for like the wealth gap and all that, what do you find very different here? Climate, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Climate, without a doubt. For sure. No, but there, you can see. Yeah. You know, they're out here in the streets. You see that they are home. Yeah. yeah so you don't see it as much, right? But there are also many people. Yeah. You cannot see them in the same way as you. Okay, and last question. What do you think of uh, the Filipino people themselves? What do you think of them? Friendly people. Very friendly people. Sure. Not uh, Actually, uh, we've been traveling in Asia a lot. And in the Philippines, you can feel that they are genuinely friendly. Mm -hmm. In the many other countries, they are like friendly when they try to serve you. But yeah, they're just genuinely friendly. They are genuinely yeah. friendly. Yeah. But I must tell you one thing. Mm -hmm. It's good with the Philippines also that we don't have so many shops, as you know, school uh, yeah. attacks and, yeah, and no you know, shooting. guns and everything. It's so uh, difficult for them to have a gun. Yeah. In the U.S. you can just go and take something in the shop. Sure. At Walmart, right? You can buy a gun. Yeah, at Walmart. <laughs> it's actually quite so, safe. Yeah. Yeah, it's with it an upside safe. to it. That is really nice. Okay. Also but the factory is... Yeah, but I should say this is so good. Yeah. And uh, I think, yeah. Factory you know, is good uh, too. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this, I uh, haven't thought about that a lot because we have the kids living here. Yeah. So, you know, it's really friendly here. They are safe also. Yeah. That's great. So, yeah, tell me a bit about the factory. You said, what do you make? Yeah. It's a 13 old company, mm -hmm. custom made, uh, mainly hotel and restaurant furniture mm -hmm. for bigger projects, mainly in the US, okay. but also locally here. And uh, they are really good company, not the cheapest, mm -hmm. but they are the best. They buy uh, the best material, they use the best technique, they mm -hmm. communicate the best. We have experience to do business in Asia before, and that's actually why we ended up there. It's actually the kids' company, okay. it's not our company, the Let's kids' see. company. But they communicate well, mm -hmm. good products, good quality, and good prices. Nice. Not the lowest prices. But good price. You want good quality with furniture, you don't want to cheap out, right? No, so you get what you pay for. Of course. And uh, what is the name of your company? The Balsa Crafts. Balsa company. Crafts. Everything is handmade. Also. Okay. I'll be sure to put the link in the description so people can check out your company. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. bye. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Zina. And yours? Samantha. And where are you girls from? I'm from Cyprus. And yourself? UK, but living Cyprus. Oh, very interesting. How do you girls know each other? What? We work together. Okay, and what brings you to the Philippines? What? what? <laughs> oh, interesting. If you don't mind me asking, how did that come to be? Why the Philippines? How did you get the opportunity? Um, so, we work in the BPO industry. Mm -hmm. So, we have recently just uh, been uh, sent over here so mm -hmm. we can uh, set up a new launch for one of our clients. Um, okay. And we're here to train and support the procedure. Awesome. And how long have you been here so far? I arrived on Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, just a few days? Yeah. Okay, and yourself? I've been here already two and a half weeks. Do you plan to go on to any like, you know, vacation spots like Oslo or Mobile, any of the places? I've actually already been to Oslo. Okay. Uh, I've already done my whale watching. Nice. And I visited the Tumalog Falls, mm -hmm. which was a great experience. Yeah. Definitely very nice. Okay. I'm here for another three weeks, so that's okay. on the agenda. <laughs> okay, perfect. And so far in your few days, what do you like the most about the Philippines? The hospitality, the people. Okay. The people are amazing. Yeah. And what about yourself? What do you like about the I, I'd say the exact same thing. Everyone is just so welcoming. It's a completely different culture to what we're used to. Yeah. I feel like in Europe in general, everyone's very busy getting mm -hmm. to work and getting around. Whereas here, uh, we've just been so welcomed and everyone actually pays attention to you, which is great. That's great to know. Any dislikes so far? Something that could be better or you just don't like? The humidity. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sweating right now, right? Uh, you girls are not doing so bad though. So how about you? Anything you don't like? Um, so far, just the traffic. Not used mm -hmm. to it. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, what's your name? My name is Tom. Hi. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Julius. And how old are you? 20. And what about yourself? Um, how old are you? I'm 24. Okay. Yeah, we come from Germany to make vacation here. Yeah. Oh, are you a Berlin fan or a Dortmund fan? No, <laughs> no Hamburg. Hamburg. Oh, Hamburg. Hamburg. Okay. Yeah. And tell me, why are you here in the Philippines? Uh, we met here some friends mm -hmm. in Chagau and okay. yeah, making party, go surfing, nice. go diving. Excellent. And what do you like about the Philippines? Well, like most, I think the beach, the mm -hmm. water, like like I said, surfing, yeah. diving. That's the nice things you could do here. 
Is there anything you don't like maybe that can be better maybe? Mm, it's not that clean like Germany, so yeah. the so hotels are not so nice. It's mm -hmm. okay, but not the standard from Germany. Okay, got it. Uh, thank you guys so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you too. Hi, what's your name? My name is Laya. And what's your name? Paula. And where are you girls from? Uh, we are from Spain and we are here for holidays. Are you a Barca fan or a Real Madrid fan? Uh, Barca. <laughs> Barca, Barca, okay. <laughs> I understand. I visited Barcelona for one day. Okay, I watched. Nice. Uh, I went to Camp Nou, watched the game. I went back to Portugal, so... Okay, nice. Okay. How long have you been here in the Philippines? Uh, 11 days. And what did you like the most about the Philippines? Uh, I think the most that we love that it's the uh, whole world and I think the people they are super nice also and everything. I mean it's super nice uh, city and I think we love everything from here. <laughs> Definitely. Is there something you don't like maybe? Uh, for example, from Spain, the most thing that we are not usually to like is the food. Yes. We are not super like, lovers from mm -hmm. the food Very here, food. but everything is super nice. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate thank it. You. Thank you. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of their opinions about the Philippines. If you agree, disagree, anything you want to share. If you take time to write it, I take time to respond. A couple of things I want to mention is that first of all, I want to apologize for some of the audio and some of the clips because these videos are not scripted. They're not set up. So I just randomly run into people and they do me a favor. So it's not fair for me to ask him to relocate to somewhere quiet or whatever. So I apologize for that. And secondly, we have to remember that not every country is going to be perfect for every single person, that everyone can have a completely different experience depending on how long they stay, who they interact with, which places they visit, how much effort they put into actually, you know, immersing themselves to a culture or accepting everything. So my tip to you guys is to be completely open if you're traveling to any other country, because you know, sometimes you see stuff on YouTube, it can be a very positive thing or very negative thing that can skew your mindset before you even travel there. But it's good to get some opinions and that's why I make these videos to give people a chance to go ahead and tell me what they think so you're not just hearing it from me. Another thing, if you see me talk about football a lot, soccer, so when I talk about Barcelona, Real Madrid, whatever, it's a way to break the ice. A lot of European countries love soccer, football. I mean, the whole world loves it. Right now, the Asian Cup's going on, right? So the point is to break that ice, make people feel comfortable, have something to be able to relate to, right? So it's not about me bragging that I've been to a city or something, but it's a way to find like an equal level ground and really encourages people to go ahead and speak English because as you can tell, not everybody is fluent in English, but I really admire the the fact that they take the time out of their way to speak to me in a language that's not their mother tongue and I'm very proud of these people all the interviewees so yeah a big thank you to them from my point of view and share your opinions about the Philippines if you live here if you visited here if you want to come here anything you want to share I would love to know about your experiences and if you like this video hit the subscribe button hit that like button join the channel become part of the living abroad community I'll see you guys next time bye when, when you say no you have to answer oh, you are, you are, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're pretty good you were talking the whole time you Here made us very, feel very comfortable that's good you see i'm smooth like that exactly Experience. <laughs> the way you slid in was smooth thank you thank you